In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to forward email on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I uh, will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. As we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to forward an email on GoDaddy. So, of course, if you want to do that, we will have, first of all, to sign in into our uh, office email. So, we can even, like, forward an email. You can just go here and click at sign into office email. This will take you into this page. Make sure to sign in into your account. If you don't have an account, you can get started, like, super easily right now. And, of course... Once you do that, you will have this to select the forward option. Once you actually just sign in into your account, you will find a forward option like into your face. Click on it and then click at add forward, then enter forwarding address. Of course, this needs to be a new name since forwards can be created for existing email address. And of course, enter the email address you want to forward to and select the save button. Of course, your new email forwarding address shows on the email forward page with the email address it forwards to. And of course you can return to the email forwards page to add or edit or even delete email forwarding addresses and you'll be good to go. So that's actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.